Are you in a committed relationship and want to protect you and your lover from jealousy, envious, evil eye energy? Allow Evolving Wisdom to bring that energy in to keep a shield of protection around you and your lover. For more information on my love energy, please go to EvolvingWisdom5.com. What is good? Boo, gang, gang, gang. Yes. We in this motherfucker. What is good, boys? Yes. Evolving wisdom is here for that cosmic energy. Read, you guys, okay? If you guys would like a personal reading or any information on my spiritual services and products, you already know how to fucking find me. Because I'm everywhere in the motherfucking cosmos. Chilling. Watching. Yo ass. Okay. All right, boys. Without delay, we're going to jump into your energy and see what the fuck is really going on. What's up, everyone? Join me on Patreon. Tier 1 allows you to have access to extended monthly readings, feminine dark world news updates, seen from the eyes of a seer. Tier 2 allows you to have early access to all video uploads and step-by-step -step cooking recipes that heal the body and mind. Tier 3 allows you to get quick mini spread readings twice a month, live phone chats, and early access to all video uploads. Uh, what are you guys waiting on? Go join me on Patreon. Boys, if you guys want to get an overall collective read here on what's going to be going on in the year of 2022 with all my zodiacs here, economically here, politically, and all different forms and of information will be given in that video. That video will be uploaded on my Patreon for Patreon members only here because it is too... It's giving too much info, okay? And I cannot put that out here on my YouTube. However, you guys, if you want to become a member, you guys head on over to Patreon and become one here. There's a lot of great information. Videos, lives will be going on over there, okay? All right, you guys. Without delay, let's, let me, you guys, listen. <clears throat> Some of y'all all in your head, okay? Y'all are all in your motherfucking head about just life itself, okay? Some of you guys need to dig more into your eighth house. I'm not your eighth house. I'm sorry. In your, into this air energy. We all got we got all elements in our chart here. I feel like with this energy, you guys need to dig more into that air energy here and just go with the flow of things here and also what you want here. Everything doesn't have to be so level-headed at all with everything, okay? When it comes to making decisions, sometimes you just have to put out the energy and just go for it here, okay? If I'm not mistaken, Taurus is Sagittarius is in um, the ninth chart, which is its home here. If you are a Taurus sun, um, your um, Sagittarius may be in the house of, um, exp um, what is that house? That's dealing with traveling. That's dealing with yourself, your your who you truly are, and um, how pe other people see you out in the world here. Philosophy. It just deals with the things that are um, focused more on you, you and who you are trying to be this lifetime also, okay? Um, and there's a lot of other things, but I can't think of them right now, y'all. So... It seems like this is a lot of focus around your career, who you are trying, what are you trying to bring about this new year that's coming in here, okay? There's a little worry coming in. I'm picking up for some of my bulls here, okay? Some of you guys may be having some issues here when it comes to your love, your younger um, family members here or younger fe feminine energy. I feel like some of you guys may have just made up your fucking mind about a decision about something here that you want to do here. And it does not this, whoever this younger person is, don't agree with it here. It may be some type of relocation or a job opportunity or something going on where there's a little, uh, maybe disagreements going on with a younger Feminine. I'm thinking of young teen energy here. There's maybe a high schooler here. I don't know if you're trying to move, but that's coming in very strong to make sure you are doing what you need to do for yourself here, okay? Sometimes as, and I feel like I'm talking to a feminine uh, woman. I'm talking to a feminine a woman um, here when it comes to their daughter or their son here, okay? Sometimes you guys can, 
as just women period we can give over too much of ourselves here we all we as taught as mothers is to uh you know to give to give to give and we can forget about that we are also humans here we are also on an experience here we are not just here to birth out children and just give 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 till we are depleted they are going to be their own adults one day here and they're going to go off and live their own life and where would that lead you here you have to put yourself first sometimes here it needs to be a balance here it's not it's unbalanced when you're constantly giving 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 no matter if this is your children or your love whatever okay you need to have a balance and i feel like from <clears throat> In the past, you may have been out of balance with overly doing for especially older children. Okay, you, you guys, okay, you that message is coming in very strong here. You ask for something, and it, it is it's your right to get what you have been asking for here. But there is a little worry around making these decisions, not wanting to uproot a child or uproot something here or disturb what they have going on. But this is some this is you're raising your children to be adults. Okay, you're not raising your children to revert back to children. You're raising them to be men or you're raising them to be a woman. Okay, so with that, you need to let them know, hey, this is compromising here. I, you, you have things that you want. I have things that I want too as a woman. Okay, and let's teach our children here to be, um, to also take care of themselves. Don't over give, over extend themselves when, you know, they want something for their, their own better, the betterment of themselves in their family. Okay. <clears throat> Whatever resources you guys are new ways of getting resources here. Um, <clears throat> some of you guys may be getting off into some certain programs or there are certain programs here that you may have been watching or listening to that you want to like, it's almost like some online schooling, but I feel like it's just a, a like a six week um, program or whatever this is here. I'm picking up here. You need to go for it here. You need to, you need to do what you've been led to do here. There's new resources. Some of you guys have your pipes are messed up in your house here. Um, there's some rotten going on with some of the pipes that go to the, uh, I see a lot of sewage uh, being <clears throat> leaked out in your home here. Okay, if you've been wondering what some smell, it's something, it's a pipe that rusted out in your home or there was a wrong pipe that was put up under your home here. Okay, there's some sewage um, shit going on here. Literally shit, okay. There's a lot of worry. Some some of you guys are going back and forth with worry here around. Um, and you guys need to put down whatever you're doing here with this shit. I always pick that up with my bullets here. Some of you guys have some bad ass fucking habits here. Okay? And then whatever, whoever this is here, it's, this lifetime is meant for you to take control of those habits. You can do it. You just need to find other resources here or other avenues here to, to uh, channel your lower energy here okay you need to find something different something that inspires you something that makes you happy doing whatever you're doing here with this codependent some of y'all do popping pills or you you're crushing up pills or someone has or you hang with a crowd or a family member here who has um introduced this um introduced this to you okay whoever who has recently let someone go here um and this person is acting like they don't care about you or this could be my bulls doing this and you act like you don't care about the situation anymore. It is done. It is over with this or whatever. You some, what are y'all doing some stalking here? Okay, and then maybe just going up on that social media here, okay, because Tauruses also can be, have that Scorpio, remember the opposite sign of Scorpio, they act like Scorpios just do a lot, of, a, little, a little bit of that stalking energy when it comes to, uh, it's, it, what, when it's come to Scorpios or Tauruses doing this here, it's not considered, we don't consider it stalking. Um, I'm too much in my ego for that shit. I ain't talking no fucking, but I ain't looking at your profile. I don't give a fuck. Once I'm done, I'm done, okay? However, when we looking at that Scorpio energy energy and people be like, oh, they, they you know, they obsessive, this, whatever. It's more of doing, doing thorough research, okay? It's just like 
crossing all crossing all my T's and crossing all dotting all my I's here. Something come up. I got this time and date that you did this. Oh, you know, you can't do this, but I remember I seen you. It's like it's that type of thing here. Thorough as research, but it can become obsessive energy also too here. You need to know when you need to let it go. Tauruses can be the same. We can be very thorough when it comes to finding out some shit here. We will go the extra mile and we will study and study and study and look at whatever we need to look at until we get what we need to get in more here okay um whoever this energy is here if you have let this person go for whatever reason you have let this person go and it was some deceptive energy that you that you knew was going on and i'm proud of you for cutting this energy off here but you have not fully let this inner this person go here because it seems like whatever you're doing with this person here towards it this is you that's looking at their profile and finding out if they still working at this place whatever you're doing here they're doing the same thing too but i feel like there's some little shield of like they're not letting you know or you're not letting them know that you still care that you still care about this person here okay at the end of the day if you're doing all that research and doing all that shit like that then you still all up in the groove of things here just let it go move on on here okay know your self value here don't be looking at nobody else's profile fuck they asses here i don't got time for that shit like fuck you once i'm done i'm done nigga. okay <clears throat> boys okay we're gonna jump into y'all energy a little bit more here my best seller fuck off bath wash that i want you guys to get in a routine of cleansing yourself getting your body your mind and your mental health in check with my wash here it really does the fucking thing here check out the reviews on my instagram and also post reviews in my community posts it's amazing you guys it's a bloodline here of history that i put into this wash here and i want you guys to take advantage of it so we I mean, need to stand strong here. We're gonna get into a little dark energy here, you guys. And I hope that this none of this is really going on with somebody. This energy I'm picking up here. Some of you guys here, there's a young child of yours here that has been violated sexually. Okay, you may notice that this child is acting different. It could be your child, it can be your family member, your niece, nephew, whatever. There's something different about this child. This child is acting a little bit more um closed off, maybe having outbursts or things in here. You need to check on that um energy here because there's someone who has violated this child, and someone who is very close to this child here has did some violence, has violated this child in the utmost disrespectful, most evil type of way here okay there's too many masculine energies around this child here um that and no one it, and it could be family members here you just need look you can't put your full trust when it comes to in this world nowadays to your daughters or your sons here and just one person here like um someone you think oh this is my family this is my brother this is my thing stuff happened you need to always still keep an eye or be have someone around this child here who's keeping an eye on this child here okay because there's something here and I'm, I'm really trying to tap into this child's energy here, but they're very closed off here. It's almost like they cannot tell or can, cannot explain what's been going on with this energy here. Well, same, it's almost the same thing that you have experienced. Some of you guys have experienced some form of um, sexual abuse as a young child here. You have to remember, how did you feel? How did you, if you remember this, some of you guys may not even remember it, but you, you know something went on here. Or you may get visions or things of that sort here but there is time to do some healing around this here this energy here this sexual abuse here to get an understanding it has been holding you back as an adult here it's something that's called your heart chakra there's some things in sacred chakra is a little closed off here Some of you guys are not able to fully enjoy sex that the way it is. Some of you guys are just used to, um, you know, feeling like, oh, if I get an orgasm, then it's everything. And it's just like you're not really experienced real love making, love creation here, euphoric type of feeling here, evolved type of energy when it comes to sex. Some of you guys never experienced that you think you have here, but you haven't. And a lot of it has to do with the energy here that you took on as a younger child here, whether you're male or feminine energy here, especially with my males also too, because you're taught to give over your, your energy a lot to women or men, whatever. You're taught to be free with your energy here. 
<clears throat> instead of respecting yourself and what you have. All right, boys, let's get into your energy here. Let's get into these cards here. Okay. Okay, what's going on here? Oh, my boys. Taurus says, imagine. Use whatever source of um, imagine, imagination here when it comes to creating your world here. Some of, you, some of this can be just by watching someone else live a life that you have. And, and I'm not talking about you coveting what they have, but just like, man, I would like to do that one day here. Or I would like to see myself in that type of position or higher. And that sometimes that's how you can create a world for yourself. Okay understanding feminine energy here it's time for you guys to really understand more about your purpose here in life here it's time for you to raise your vibration from this lower energy here of the world and what women's supposed to be or what women supposed to act like and what women supposed to subdue to here when it comes to the patriarchy energy here and it's time for you to create this world that is going to benefit us in the future here okay it's going to be benefit your daughters It starts with you. Okay, what's going on here with my boys here? What's going on here with my boys? Your experiences are there for a reason, you guys. Some of you guys are still in the energy of, like, why did this have to happen? Why did I go through this? How could they hurt me here? It's just, it's like, you guys got to come out of that here. I'm still picking that up here. Okay, some of you guys have a very young energy around you here, or you may be feeling this for yourself, like more free or wanting to feel that way here. But there is a new path of emotions coming in here. And once again, it's about love. I do feel this is about some type of love energy. I feel like the focus with my bulls here for... <clears throat> For the next three to five years, especially in 2020 here, it's about, um, it's, it's, it's about grounding yourself to your life path here and love here, okay? Y'all, some of y'all been missing out on real fucking real love here, okay? And what did I always tell you guys here? That real love is always you first. Okay, but it is nothing wrong with sharing that with somebody here. Share, you got a lot of love to give here, okay? Some of you guys have a lot of love here, but there is just some ways here how your approach to love has been incorrect or it has been, you, you've been experiencing it so you could correct that form of love, okay? That you begin, it could be painful. It could be um, always having to give over your emotions before this person even show up. It could be rushing into love here. It could be falling in, in love very quick, okay? Mm -mm. Don't do that, y'all. Don't be falling in love real quick, y'all. It ain't, it's not worth it here, okay? I never understood people that did that here, but I know people do that. Um, you know, they like love. Love is, you know, they like it. They like the way it feels, but... <laughs> You guys, there needs to be a balance with whatever this energy is coming through here, okay? There's information here, okay? So for all, for all of my bulls here who are about to experience this or are experiencing this euphoric type of feeling, I feel like this is something that you guys can get out of your head about with this person here. And quit watching. Some of y'all stalking this person. Like, bulls, where, what, what, what's going on? Okay, some of y'all, I can see y'all. Some of y'all all on the internet typing away, chewing your gum. You know, just looking, okay? Y'all got to step up out of this energy here. Whoever this inner, this masculine or feminine energy, they're very beautiful on the outside here. Um, however, there's some destruction or there's some, some chaos coming in towards this energy here, okay? Wait to get some information. Some of this, you guys, this person is coming back around towards you here, offering you um, that, that, that love energy here, that dick. <laughs> Somebody want to put that thing, y'all. I'm telling you, y'all picking up a lot of sexual energy. Somebody like, damn, I right, just drop this thing up and they drop. <laughs> Okay, look, boy, what I keep telling y'all? Look, okay. <clears throat> 
some of my my masculine energy out there here who identify with dating um, the same sex or whatever you like to get down with and do here be you be honest though be honest with your energy here in this day and time you guys be openly honest with whoever you come encounter with here let them know what you want let them know what you stand for no hiding around we get a lot of that here with the lbg not all of them here but they like to hide or some of them don't even like to identify with the lbg um community okay just be honest be you be your authentic so no hiding no allowing someone to be in a relationship with you who is also hiding okay and this goes for all sexes here okay but there is a beautiful energy coming in here you guys and i looked at this rainbow because i was like okay okay next card that came out love y'all love sex love making love here okay make sure you find someone who's taps in with that energy here they know how to really tap into and hone in on their um sexual energy so that you can create from this here okay a lot of beautiful energy coming in for that here you guys when it comes to love here some of y'all in that love energy some of y'all like look i got love that's for me that's love for myself here okay i feel like this is and i remember saying this last year i feel like this energy that's coming in for my boys here oh i got a strawberry seed in my mouth okay i feel like the love energy that's coming in for my boys here for some of you, I'm not saying this is the all, be all, this is it, y'all. Y'all, this is get married, this is this. Even if you don't believe in marriage, you maybe just believe in long-term energy. I feel like with this, it's coming in. Some of you guys, this energy is coming in to wake up your sacral chakra energy, to wake up your heart chakra, to wake up you consciously here when it comes to a different form of love. It's all about different, a different from what you are used to. You have to be prepared for this energy here. Some of it is just coming in for just a lesson to show you what is there, to show you that your intuition is very on point. It's just a, it's a life lesson here that's coming in. I don't see a lot of um, like traumatizing energy, but I do see some little, um, I do see some little dece deceitful energy coming in when it comes to this love here, y'all. Okay. Make sure it's just a balance here. I do see a lot of potential lovers around my boys here. Um, okay, <clears throat> let's get into y'all finances a little bit more because I see they on point. Let me get into this here. I keep seeing somebody stalking. Either this is you boys here because I'm getting both scenarios or this is someone who's like, who not telling you that they still in love with you or they still want you here that's all up in your shit here okay somebody is watching you watching that ass okay sexual energy thinking about you in that way here okay a lot of blessings coming through here boys a lot of financial blessings coming in here you plan you plan the game of you playing the game, map the game of life here, understanding what you need to be doing, being directed in a different way here, seeing your world in the way you visualize it here. Okay, no more playing things safe, boys. Here it is time for you to go. Okay, it is time for you to go fast. Red energy here. You see, she on that bike, like little red riding hood here. Okay, she is going, she's going for hers here. Okay, don't overspend. There's a lot of financial abundance coming in from my bulls here. A lot of rewards and a lot of respect is given to you here financially. Some of you guys not really going to be focused on love here. You may be turned, you may be very closed off to allowing um and new energies to come in here, and that's okay, also too, here. But why can't you have it all? And that's what you need to ask yourself. Why can't you have the great career or the great success, success with your finances and things of that sort here? A great life, um, st stability along with sharing your, your life um, journey with someone who also wants to share theirs with yours here. No strings atta attached in a form of possessiveness here. That's what I mean. 
no one trying to own you or you're trying to own them here but there's a mutual understanding here that we are one at this time here and we are going to respect each other here we're going to respect each other's love our bodies our mind here just a mutual understanding of that here okay no words need to be explained you guys but once again these cards pops out here lots of financial abundance coming in towards you guys here a lot of victory here okay <clears throat> Y'all, when I be up here, I be so hungry, okay? I don't know. I think it's me channeling or whatever. It's taking a lot. I know it takes a lot of energy, but it don't have to take my damn resources out my stomach. I be so hungry. I'm like, damn, this shake ain't enough, okay? I don't want to get into those. <clears throat> okay, what do my boys need to know here? The chariot, success that comes from dedication, from hard work, from celebrating your accomplishments here, being in the spotlight here, seeing yourself in a new form, a new way here. It is time for you to go after your dreams, bulls. And I am telling you that in your dreams, don't, don't always have to focus around just your career. You can just focus on this new chapter in your life here. It's new, new. Okay, we don't go backwards, bulls. We go for it here. That's why I keep telling you guys, whoever doing all the spine, looking in and shit. <laughs> you look, move forward, okay? Move forward, okay? What do my boys need to know? <laughs> <laughs> a, a lot of resolution of difficulties um, off your life are, is, is going into a new direction here. A lot of difficulties are going to be lifted off of you here. A lot of clarity is going to be given to you here. Okay. <clears throat> Take everyone's input and consideration, merging viewpoints to create a better situation or solution. Embrace your purpose here. Begin a new adventure and trust yourself. Trust the spirits that are with you who are guiding you here, boys. Okay. Get advice from someone who's professional, who can help you, guide you on this new path here. Some of you guys may have questions or concerns here, but some of you guys got some unfounded fear, unfounded fear, focusing on worst case scenario, uh, allowing worry to grow out of proportion to the problem here <clears throat> okay immediate action challenges that can be that are successful you may be going through some challenges but some of you guys need to release 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 and don't be deterred here by any challenges that come along your way here just understand that it's just you know hey I, how can i move over this how can i jump over the situation how can i you know go beyond this this um this small, big challenge, whatever this is that's coming up towards you guys here, okay? Some of you guys need to get out a little bit more here. Some of y'all keep doing the same routine. And I know, boys, we can be like that. We can be that. And we can get bored with that shit too, okay? <clears throat> okay, a lot of healing energy coming in here. I said this new chapter in your life, like I was saying earlier you guys it's all about healing a lot of things need to um you you deserve it some of you guys need to just heal from just childhood trauma okay that's just constantly circulating within your body here okay a lot of change and um healing information and just people coming into your life or you allowing new changes to come in is going to do a lot of healing here okay some of you guys been to a lot of major trauma in your um lifetime here okay moving on moving beyond traditional views traditional family try um um views here some of you guys here are breaking a lot of um a lot of childhood a lot of ancestor curses a lot of just try you guys breaking through okay becoming a new not doing things the, the way that mom and grandma and grandma before that or grandfather and everything's moving beyond the your current your current situation but also your current your your ancestor energy here i'm picking up here okay give me one more card here okay unleash your creativity what did i keep saying boys be you be your authentic self here. Do it with balance. You guys been playing it safe for too long though here, boys. Okay, y'all have. Y'all have. Y'all have been playing it too safe here. 
Okay, let's get a message real quick. I'm trying to see which one I want to get a message out of. <clears throat> okay, what message do you have for my boys? Okay, what message do you have for my boys here? Oracle, wait for important information is coming in here and trust your instance here, your instant, your instance. Okay. Let's get one more. Some of you guys have been asking for information and it is coming. Okay. Surround yourself with positive energy here. Some of you guys are dealing with the lower energy still here. And it's sometimes that's okay. We need those lower energies here to help us ground ourselves so we can get to a higher, uh, excuse me, we can get to a higher vibrate vibration. Okay. But I feel like you guys need to, um, yeah, I feel like you guys need to keep your, your vibrations very high at this time here. Okay. We're going to get into this is arrow. <clears throat> surround yourself with positive people and experiences and environments that make you feel safe call on your angels your guides here and ancestors to bring you protection okay if you are in a situation where you feel that 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 not everything is clear as it seems trust your intuition <clears throat> trust that god energy that's in you okay trust your universe that's within you here there are energies in your current situation that aren't fully aligned with your intentions and goals or with goals or with kindness. Follow your intuition about whom to trust and what to trust. OK, if you can take time to retreat or to step out of the situation to, act, to access what is going to be beneficial for you, do so. And in, in any event. This is time to call on the energy of protection and to place yourself in a space that feels safe. Okay. This is, comes back to when this first card came out. Wait for more information that is coming to you here. Okay. Some of you guys may feel kind of like I was picking up in the, in, in, the, in the beginning here. Just some worry here or just not knowing the full view of things here okay boys we don't need to know everything everything is not going to be presented to us right then and there sometimes we go through certain alignments in our life here so we can tune more into that god energy here that intuition that tells you need to do this this is what needs to happen step by step there's like a life instructions if we learn how to tune into our intuition and stop second guessing that voice that's within you that's what's the, the, the confusion comes from yourself. The confusion comes from yourself. Some people just do not understand how to really listen to that intuition. It's always worry or it's always like, is this something I should be doing? I don't know. I don't know. And it does take, it does take life experiences to keep showing you like, okay, yeah, you didn't listen to your intuition because we was telling you no, or you know what I mean? Sometimes it just takes trial and error. Okay, hopefully it's not big errors, but okay. Air energy, creativity. Remember, you guys, I told you some of you guys need to step more into that air energy here. Okay, you need to step more in the air, even though uh, Sagittarius is a fire energy here, they also can tap into that air energy a lot. That's why a lot of them usually just when they want something or they want to do something here, they usually go for it here. Um, they're the opposite side of Gemini. Gemini is the same, it's the air energy here. So they know uh, usually that fire energy of Sagittarius knows how to, um, you know, know how to switch on and off that energy which is a good thing. It could be a bad thing also too. But that creativity here, step into that air energy, create your world, create your life that you're trying to, you want here for yourself and your family or just yourself here, okay? All right, boys. And that is, you guys, read for today. You guys, please hit that like, subscribe, leave your girl a tip. Any amount is appreciated, boys. And until next time, you already know, this is Evolving Wisdom. And yes, I'm here and I'm still evolving.